All right, before I start this uh, episode of South Park Monday with both the uh, vaccine, sorry, pandemic and vaccine special, I do have to warn you guys if you're uh, like uh, too sensitive for this uh, for the pandemic special, like, you know. Like, if you, there are some, you know, things that I will mention regarding the pandemic. Like, if you lost your loved one or you set to see your loved one getting, you know, being like the rest, unfortunately. Like, myself, of course. Please do not, you know. Might want to skip the next few minutes. Oh. Of this. Now, the pandemic special. But once I get the vaccine special done. I will. I will be happy to do the. The uh, special. To do the vaccine special. Since. I got vaccinated. Oh, and also. This uh, this uh contains really strong this contains a really really foul language and raunchy humor you know so blister discretion is advice have you ever thought about starting your own podcast. When I was trying to get to the this podcast off the ground, I had so many questions. How do I record an episode? Where do I find my background music? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Where do I find the advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% reducedly easy to use. So, if you want to start a podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start. To join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Hey guys, and welcome to the one half of the uh, of the special I'm going to be talking about. The first one is, of course, I'm going to be talking about is... The pandemic special, which of course was released in, uh, yeah, which, which was released in, uh, around the, uh, I think, uh, September, well, the last week of September, and also closing into October, the, uh, Pandemic special, which of course, which of course we see uh, some of the uh, yeah. So we're gonna begin with this, but I know I would say, you know, but you know what? There's no a spoiler warning for this one because this is you might want to hear this out. Okay. So we begin with uh, South Park going into shit as the pandemic had hit really, really heavy with, uh, you know, and and Butters as his dad about, you know, going to build a bear. And Mr. Stotch or Steven says, no, we are not 
the, the pandemic, no, we're not gonna go to build a bear. Oh, now that's hurtful. And then, of course, we see every resident South Park, you know, covered it in a group and heard say, well, Stephen asked if it's, you know, about, if it's about the, uh, you know, riots or protesting, but is a, but Mr. Donovan, Clyde's dad, and also Betty, so. Wid widower saying it had something to do with the pandemic. And then of course with Randy just talking about how you know how the COVID pandemic affected the business. And of course they are and of course you know really upset and he kind of glowed a bit about Heidi's dad owning a restaurant at at we're at soda or soda pita and of course kind of glowed a bit that he introduces the name the pandemic special and of course that really annoyed Sharon and she really hates you know and she said that what Randy just did and yeah you know, it's childish and then we begin with the uh, pandemic special well with the title called when they tack on just a little bit of James A. Denise there who has to do the uh which of course the pandemic also affects Dead Meat Live, which was originally going to be in, uh, like, March or April, and then a COVID pandemic hit, so that course, James has to cancel. But, and then Cartman did a little musical number. Like, of course, you know, but, like, don't have to brush your teeth, don't have to take a shower. Well, you got to brush your teeth, and you got to take a shower. And then it's sitting on toilet for hours? No, you can only take minutes. And then Cartman has a Zoom meeting. We're at school. Having school, and then he faked being frozen. Ah, that fat ass. That was... that, Sorry, I have to, you know. That that fat ass. And then, then it's mom, of course. You know, just asking. Well, just, you know, telling Carmen that that school called, then they are gonna think about reopening school. And then Carmen replied with, What the fuck are you talking about? And then, But although he's not really happy, he's really pissed off. And he has to go back to school. And then of course gave the treatment. You know. And just say, of course, he's gonna stay six, you know, six feet. Is that told her to stay away from six feet. And then back at Tegrity Farms. We see Randy. Yeah, we. Well, we see Randy selling the pandemic special. While. While they're going back, to, you know, to school, however. They're going to go back to school, however, in South Park. Yep. But, however, the Randy kind of, you know, asked the Sharon, uh, 
you know, just, you know, say it sarcastically of who is dying. And of course, Sharon just told her, I'm sorry, told Randy, his bro, uh, her brother, Jimbo. And yep, the same Jimbo who said, it's coming right at us. Uh, it's gonna wrap for us! And then, shoot. But, nope. Due to having a COVID, due to COVID, he, he doesn't shout that anymore. Well, you know, because he is in a hospital. And then, of course, uh, Shelly had brought up the family to, to find out the news that school is going to open up. And then, And then, of course, <laughs> and Randy, but although they found the origins of the COVID in the science where they say it was a fact, it's a Randy and Mickey Mouse. Well, you know, with the uh, facts, with flashback, and Randy just broke the fourth wall with China. You know, the last season. And then, of course, he begins to fuck the bat. Let me say this again. Randy and Mickey fuck a bat. Now that's bestiality right there. Well, not for Mickey, but for Randy, that's bestiality. Then he panically called Mickey Mouse. Who is overwhelmed? Who was overwhelmed with, you know, phone calls? And it was told the one who said, you know, if we have no Mandalorian, if he told him more Mandalorian, we're fucking swamped here. Then he, then the pissed off Mickey was really, really angry. You know, was really pissed off when Randy just said about, you know, the time that after you know, China, they began to fuck about. And yeah. Oh yeah, Chris Wallace, my man. Oh, sorry, I was just watching uh, Trevor Noah. Yeah, well, with the uh, sketch about the news of a journalist, you know, you know, of having famous parents or, or parents of po other politicians or journalists. But let's get back. And of course, they told him he should have been quarantined. And then Cartman went to Kyle's house, all pissed off. And of course, was knocking and then bashing the door and then breaking a window with the pole. Then entered and then Kyle told him to get out because he may be spreading germs. And then of course, he, Cartman, the reason he got in is because he demanded a lawyer. Yeah, he has to demand a lawyer for for a course to speak with a lawyer because no, it's taught he don't want to go back to school. You're gonna have to deal with a fat ass. And then Randy begins walking. And uh, sees uh, everything like business closing, a loved one succumb to the virus, and again, guys, I mean, if you if you don't want to hear this, just just skip a few more seconds.
And then, you know, Randy seeing someone who had COVID getting buried while seeing death. With the side, visiting the cemetery. And then Randy, of course, with uh, one of the customers, just, just took, I just want to congratulate Randy for uh, fighting to the nail for the pandemic, to keep his business open. And also told Randy that he lost, he lost his wife to the virus. And then we got Now I told him go away rudely. All right. All right, if you skip a few seconds and you don't want to hear that, I mean, then now we are in a really, now we are in the sea we're going to talk about. Mr. Mackey have assembled all the parents who are, who are questioning, some of them were questioning about the, uh, you know, the uh, students and some of them have thousands of school. But uh, other arguments, however, involves fucking masks. You know, we call it a diaper chin. Although, I use it as a beard nap sometimes. The, uh, the uh, mask, now like I say, the mask I got, I use it as a beard, you know, whenever I'm in the kitchen, but whenever I had to go, go to the, do my job at the, you know, I had to double the mask. One diaper chin, and the other, a face warmer, or cooler, or whatever the fuck I want to call it. But then he mutes, and of course, her, you know, of course, the insulting her parents, and then he mute again. Then Mr. Dalvin says, of course, being pessimist, saying that his son is not going to go back to that school. And then he muted and then unmute Sharon. And Sharon asked about the teachers. And Maggie replied with a good question. Unfortunately for the teachers, they don't feel safe about going back to school. So, so we're going to hire new ones who recently lost their jobs. And the teachers are, of course, the South Park Police with Detective Harris. Of course, you know, doing a hell of a speech. And then, of course, no... No regular response, say the police are bitching about it. But, like I say, I mean, not all, be honest, not all cops are bad. Well, I mean, South Park is really lousy, but pretty fucking funny. Again, pretty fucking funny, but fucking lousy. So, so we're going to... So we're going to talk about, about, however, and Carpet was just hearing a pig squealing, and Carpet is just trying to get out of the stranglehold. Trying to get out of the stranglehold, and then, and then he got handcuffed. Good! The fan has deserved it! And I'm sorry guys, I guess, I fucking hate Eric Carpet. With a, with a bane of my existence. As he's a sociopath. You know? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that, you know, coarse language. Because I'm using coarse language. If you guys didn't get my warning about the, uh, fear dis- blister discretion in the voice. And then, he was coming all over Kyle, and then... Well, before he kicks Cartman's ass, he's like, Fuck you! And then... And then, of course, it's beating up. 
They were beating up the, you know. And Officer Johnson begins to shoot. And shot Token in the arm. <laughs> well, well, I know. It's, uh, you all got offended and don't even watch. But, again, again, I mean, it's South Park, you know? I mean, it's a humor, you know? Sure, controversial, but, but I like it. You know? And then Randy, of course, has a, was watching, you know, Sharon was watching the news, and Randy just don't like hearing what the news say. Then, but then it's been confirmed that it, it wasn't a bat that caused the COVID. It was a pain goo. And then back to where we never seen the episode. Mickey and Randy looking wasted after having a sex with a bat. But Meggie asked if he ever had sex with a pangu. Randy replied with, what the fuck is a pangu? <laughs> and again, another bestiality. As Randy fucks a pangu. Then, he yells, shit! But although not all of this sunshine, because after what went wrong, the school was announced. Well, Mr. Mackey announced that the school is under quarantine. Is a uh, has been under you know, is students have been under quarantine because the one student has been exposed to COVID. But however. It wasn't COVID that got, you know, Clyde. It was a bullet that was fired by Officer Johnson. And then, of course, however, however, the, pol the police or the teachers announced that he got that token has been sent to the hospital due to being exposed to COVID. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't COVID, okay? It was, it was a bullet. So they had been quarantined into the gym. But, however, But after Randy went into the into a research lab, well, sneak he snuck in. It blended with the scientist, and the scientist, uh, the head scientist, was of course talking about the pangu of getting its DNA. It, it might be a possible way for a vaccine. Well, and I'll I'll tell you how I get my vaccination. That's my prologue. And again, there will be no spoiler warning, however. I'm just going to give you all the details. Well, not because I'm a fan of South Park, but I'm a, uh, you know, I lost a loved one to COVID. And and I have a co-worker, who I'm not going to say his name, who's a COVID survivor. And both he and I have been vaccinated. So, again, we're not going to do spoiler warnings, okay? Okay. And then, and then a scientist asks Randy if he was a uh, pandemic specialist. And Randy says, yeah, I'm a pandemic specialist. Okay. And then when they walk, Randy just slowly tips them to them, reverses it, and took the pain goo. And... And although, however, and however, yeah, if it's a school, looking like a prison yard, yeah, with school looking like a prison yard, however, we are, 
Wait a minute, I thought Kenny's dead. Hell, well, I'm not sorry. We're gonna get to that in a moment. And of course, it wasn't. But however, we got. However, we got is uh, Mickey Mouse standing. Well, as a uh, Randy has got a package from someone anonymous, and of course, it was a heart. In the heart, however, it was a live human heart, but it was not like unusual. But it did say the two words: "Your dad." And that's to Randy Marsh. That Randy Marsh called up Mickey and called up Mickey, and of course, Mickey says that 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 once Randy's dead. They're gonna have his DNA, and there'll be a vaccine. But, however, that gave Randy an idea for a cure. No, and of course, and of course, we get to the uh, as for the South Park. It's like a prison yard with the police being intimidated, like they were in the lockdown. However, they were really serious. But, however, however, they are really, really pissed off. You know, at Butter is really pissed off. I say they would have to. It was March 16th. Well, personally for me, the last time I had a job was after karaoke night, and it was March 20th that I got a that and my that my job has been affected by the pandemic. But but we were able to help out with the community right before we opened up. Or our my uh, or my governor of my home state. Decides to open up at 50% capacity or 25% capacity, and and yeah, and bars are unfortunately closed. That, however, making a slight improvement, but but now I'm just that said it at it butters. That and then it was summer. And then it's, it's waiting for summer. And then he replied, it's fucking October! The police are really pissed off, and so they had to take butters away from. And again, you might want to skip this part because of the pandemic for like for a few seconds. And if we find out that Jim, Jimbo, was hospitalized in Hell's Pass Hospital, where we see the bodies of the ones who succumbed to COVID, and we see Jimbo on, you know, fighting for his life, and then saw death, but but coming out the window was not death, but his brother-in-law Randy, and Jimbo went, Randy, what are you doing here? And then, of course, he found a cure, and then had brought the pandemic special, and <laughs> he took off his pants and began to masturbate. Like, he's getting this, getting a, you know, getting some cum on the, you know, on the marijuana. However, it was not. Well, it was not all, you know, great for, for not just the school, but... It won't be great as for Jimbo either, and he asked, of course, ready forcefully to, to smoke the pandemic special. And of course, he was like, and Jimbo, well, we're going to get the results of Jimbo later. Now we go back to school with, of course, well, with Stan Marsh. Worried about butters 
as he never got to go to the build a bear workshop. However, we see the precedent. However, what two of the people just asked about the CDC, they told them they eat his shit balls and got away. And then the second, what about Dr. Fauci? Yeah, fuck that garrison! I'm sorry, you know, I do love the parody of Donald Trump, to be honest. But what he did to Canada got me saying, God fucking Jerusalem. And then, and then a third politician that said he's got a call from Mr. Slay, which is, of course, Mr. Garrison's ex boyfriend. Which, yeah, like around season four, he, Mr. Garrison came out as as gay, or he came out as a homosexual. And in the fifth season, right after Miss Chokes on Deck's death, he had he had a boyfriend, Mr. Slavin, but he calls him his teacher's ass. But unfortunately, they broke up when Mr. Garrison had a sex change operation, turning him into a woman. And then he had, of course, with, you know, he didn't just been with men, but then at the yikes, we, he was done with men. And of course, he's never been a woman until he's done some experience scissoring. And then, of course, at the opinions, he was not very happy with being a woman because he wanted to go back as a man. And then he became president after fucking the Canadian president to death who's also an ex of Donald Trump. But although, Canada doesn't have a prime minister, sorry, doesn't have a president, only prime ministers. And then he won an election on episode three of my least favorite season of South Park, season 20. But yeah. But yeah, enough backstory. Let's let's get back to business. But it's actually called for Stan. Just ask about you know the COVID death. You know, Mr. Grant says that Latinos, Latinos die more. But it, but it doesn't matter. But but then I know. But look, it doesn't matter here. African American, Caucasian, Asian, or Latino. COVID's been killing. Or, yeah, or man, woman, or child, or elderly. The pandemic is killing everyone of various ages. You know? That's what I'm saying. They hack, they, the, the virus is killing everyone of various ages. And then, of course, and of course, he ended the conversation with, you can eat my shit balls and... Well, you can just eat my shivels for all I care. And he ain't got the fucking garrison. And then Stan was like, God damn it. And then thus ends the. Uh... But although, back to Tegrity Farm, Sharon has uh, got a call from the hospital that Jimbo has a negative result, and he can be brought back home. But I still wonder what happened to Ned, however. Did he die? Or did he... Did he die from a... from a man bear pig attack? Or did he die? Declared dead? Because I haven't seen Ned in a while. Like I haven't seen Jimbo in a while. But although the result 
where, well, before we're going to get to the other results of the pandemic special, Randy, of course, go to go inside, grab the jar of the pandemic special, and he masturbated again. But if he saw lots of jars, go well, unzip his slide and masturbate. And then, of course, he's like, oh, jeez. But he saw a lot of jars, and he pulled down his pants fully. And, and of course, we uh, get to, of course. And, of course, we get to the uh, school, back to school, and Stan saw death, and then he told Butters that you're going to get him out of here. And then Cartman, who's happy with that decision, of course, you know, don't want to have to deal with it. And then, here comes Randy Marsh. Oh, sorry. Here comes, you know, Timmy, and they broke out of school. And then, of course, you know, and of course, they have some, you know, school, however, a school breakout. But, and then, of course, with Randy, is busy, you know, ejaculating into the pandemic special, but Sherry told him to come here because Jimbo has a condition of fever and uh, something else on his face, it was Randy's mustache. Yeah. <laughs> so what what happened and did he reply with? Special the pandemic special. But yeah. It was the pandemic special that's been causing causing that and then But it didn't just affect, you know, him. It affected everyone else, like Gerald Protrosky, Kyle Staff. And of course, and of course, Diane Cartman, you know, Mrs. Cartman, and PC Principal, and of course, Helen McCormick, Candy McCormick's mother. And of course, news was breaking, and it, and it brought up with first, where is the pain? Where the fuck is the pain? Dude? But of course, you know, and of course, they brought in Dr. Fauci to talk about wearing a mask the right way, and then. And then Mr. Tucker and Stephen Stosh were criticizing his uh, way of wearing it. He's like, it seems like, fuck you, Dr. Fauci. But then, of course, we get to the breaking news that that the kids have been, have been, you know, breaking out of school. And we got to this. And we're getting this far, however. And absolutely nowhere. But then the police have to talk, talk to uh, to the governor, and the governor would sign the bill to allow the police to get them everything. And the police, yep, but the police are, of course, riding their tanks and motorcycles and, and the horses. And it scared the kids, and then told the kids, and Detective Harris told the kids to drop the snowball, or they will, and go back to school, or we'll have to take advantage of the action. And he's like, we got a runner! And begin to shut the kid like, like he was cheese. And then, who else was running? My favorite character, Kenny McCormick. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! Those bastards! Yeah. 
And then, then of course, was going in, you know, to build the barracks and made it an appointment. But although they had to hide from death. And, and as for butters, they had to go. And, no, they go in, but they were late because because they've been exposed to Red Red Bit 20. Like causing Randy to have a must sorry. But one of the employees of Build a Bear to have a mustache. And of course they broke in. And of course they were breaking in, but Randy, however, has to get to the light for to get rid of the pandemic special. And then, and Sharon just was more worried about, about Stan more, more than, of course, more than Randy's, you know, pandemic special. And then, of course, she, she goes to take the wheel, and then Randy, of course, Georgia, as I said, we're gonna go to the light. And then he's like, but she's like, fuck you! However, yeah, and get back to Build a Bear. The boys break in. And ask what kind of bear the uh what butters want. The butters like he wants a a uh Capitaro Grizzly. The Capitaro Grizzly. And then Stan of course trying to build that bear. And of course he was very, very you know, like, of course, very upset that the stuffing has destroyed the bear because they go to the uh, rebuild the bear. But right after that, of course, Mr. Tucker fly, uh, sorry, Craig's dad wore a mask the right way and of course told him to put that mask on the way it is and then Stephen and, and of course hit and of course hit Mrs. Tex the burger and then they the brawl begins and then Randy uh, Sherry and Randy were driving to get Stan but But the mustache, however, they all have mustaches ready. And Ray's like, no! Nobody needs to take down a special like that. And then he get dead. He just teared up when he saw Applebee's being closed. And then, and then he calls Sherry to, to go back to the farm. And of course, you know, going back to the farm, however, to get something, a roll of real out something. And for Stan, tried his dentist, you know, to not fuck up. But unfortunately, the stuffing already fucked, fucked the bear up and fucked him up. And then Detective Harris just told the kids to that looters will have to get out of the store for five minutes or some of the consequences. And then, of course, he's like, okay, it's been five minutes. Uh, five minutes? No, it's been, uh, no, it's been like five seconds. And then take him down. He was trying to shoot the build of air with the kids inside, with the boys inside. And then Randy just stopped. She called for a ceasefire, and then revealed he's the one that got the pain dude. And 
but Cartman is not happy. Cartman, what the fuck are you doing, Cartman? Cartman? No! Cartman! No! And then he says he's not gonna go back to that school. And try to destroy the Pangu by sending it to the rebuild a bear. But then Stan this tearf tearfully you know is tearfully, you know, begging carpet they you know, he don't like this pandemic either. And then of course that he wants life wants to have a normal life. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I want a normal life too. No. And yeah. Well, at least Carpen has a change of heart. They gave the Pengu back to the scientists. And scientists say they'll get the vaccine ready. And then who showed up with a flamethrower? And say, don't forget to go out the vote. And there's a big. Elections out coming today. That fucking jealous ass. But however, it, it was the integrity force was close to the fires. And then Randy saw the saw the fire like in the at the hill and the Colorado and of course was just looking around, and then he saw death, that points at Randy, and then Nick gets on his bike, or gets on his tricycle, kid saw and then, and then Randy admitted that his family was right. He did got the marijuana in his head. And then of course, and he apologized, and he apologizes to Sharon, and then Sharon got up, and holy fuck, what is, holy fuck, what is that thing on, a, on her face, like a, like it looks like a pizza turk, I don't know, like that's, that's Randy, that's fucking Randy's mustache, holy shit. And of course, she admitted that she don't. Smoke marijuana. She don't like marijuana. But if they ready to reply with, you need to change. You need to look at your face. You got you got shit all over. And of course, that's the end of the pandemic special. Now after tonight, it will be of course the vaccine special. So yeah, sorry if you're gonna hear the beeping, however, that we're gonna have some we're gonna have some lunch. Uh, I'm gonna have some lunch and gonna make sure the house stays clean and of course and of course just hang around till it's time for work. It's speaking of you know work. I'm gonna I got done watching the pandemic special, but I will talk about it very, very, very soon. So, yeah. We're going to talk about the pandemic special, but right after lunch. So, right before, we're going to start this up and show you how far the back of this expression. The boy trying to make up an apology for the teacher being pranked by getting her vaccine. Mr. Harrison, in fact, a sound not complete. Thank you. 
level nine town is not complete. And a South Park character has died and will not be returning to a new season of South Park. And I will tell you all about it. And we begin with uh, Mr. Matthew and Mr. Adler. You know, the workshop teacher who, uh, of course, lost the wine right before COVID. Yeah, he lost quite a bike crash. You're trying to get in Walgreens, but the security is a club music. Good thing. That thing got to do you know, with doing stuff yeah. But they weren't allowed in. The VIPs, however, are people over 50 tall. Yeah, it is funny with the old woman looking off the young people in the middle age thing. There you go, Christian. And then we can get to the catacombs. About the cell phone. Activation special. Next four. We see the boy watching the students walk around their ass, stay high, watch the men, and the target talk about the promotion. Oh. Um, of course, you know, as he then becomes there,
said that they, they would be stuck in quarantine like, you know, like other students. For example, what?
After what Kyle just, you know, did, he made Kenny cry. Oh, come on. I would hate Garbage for what when he made Kenny cry, but I want to hate on Kyle, too, for making Kenny cry. Come on. You can't make me do that. That's why. So, so yeah. So pretty much, pretty much it for uh, for everyone. Well, for now, but Mr. Garrison went to the supermarket and of course was looking for the colored pencils and then everybody criticized Mr. Garrison for, for putting their country to the lower stoop, meaning they will, of course, you know, consider him as the worst president in history. And Mr. Garrison told them to, you know, to get woke on him. But, you know, there are some people that are not woke who don't like President Trump. I mean, I'm not woke. I don't like, you know, I don't like forcing diversity. I I just like thinking of diversity without pushing it. And of course, I like, you know. And I like movies that are, you know, that are story based. And of course, and script without pushing an agenda. But I do not like President Trump, however, because of his stupidity. There, I said it. However, not all of them hate him. All of the, the, the one that's not all of them are the whites, the, the, the families. Now, with the name white. And they've been supportive of Mr. Garrison when he was president for years. And then Mr. Garrison told him the, you know, told it. Eat shit out of his dick. And then he was astonished. But then, of course, with Kenny trying to go to some counseling, and, and while Mr. Mackey is quitting his job, says he can't get a vaccine. And the age requirement is 55 and older. But however, but however, Trump is saying that, but, you know, but since we got a new president, excuse me for bringing up politics again, real life politics is a number now. Now it's required for 18 and older. So, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much the thing. But, aside from that, and Kenny try to get some counseling today, of course, and the boys try to get some counseling about their brohood, being on the verge of dying. But, but however, Mr. Baggy say that he really couldn't give a shit and he called it a waste of uh, time I go you know bit 
counselor, and he's 50 years old. But he did suggest one thing about getting the vaccine, however. The vaccine is really, really, you know, impossible. But they did find a way. Hi. I helping out an old lady and call themselves community kids with a cage. And the bouncer had bought it. That lets the community kids in. And everybody was pretty fucking pissed off. And really rage, 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 rage. Rage over over it and they are but it wasn't all going to plan exactly. Well the woman had bribed and is either gonna bribe them for more money and of course blackmail or, or rat them out to the fact to the vaccination doctors. And then, of course, she... And she chose the latter. But that's the plan, to try to get the vaccine. And Cartman called the old lady a fucking slut. Wow. And yeah, the, the council said, we need the fucking vaccine. And Kenny, of course, hit the... Of course, Kenny hit the, uh, the doctor, and the boys took the vaccine. What could possibly go wrong? If they got the vaccine, and go to get the teacher, what could possibly go wrong? But then, we have, uh, the whites in the secret, uh, back at the whites' residence. Got the uh, cutin on, and we got the you know with the theories, and of course, the March Fourth would be here, but it turns out it's a streaming platform. And that the inauguration day is for Trump will be the 19th president. But there's other presidents, and Teddy Roosevelt is, and his cousin Frank, Franklin D. Roosevelt are pretty popular among the American people. You know, because it's public opinion, and they are pretty popular. You know, next to Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and Abraham Lincoln in the top five. But it turns out it was a streaming service. And they've got a plan. And what would he do? And of course, they come up with a plan with QAnon getting the, uh, trying to stop it by making education, their own education program with with Tudernon. And of course we got Scott Malkinson. At the Malkinsons, we have Scott Malkinson, the kid with diabetes, and his parents. Who are really upset. Liv Garrison. Then he bags his teacher, and then... And then we have... Tweet Stab. You know... You know, Tweet, the one who's dating Craig Tucker? He's talking about Tudernon. And of course... Scott Malkinson has a tutor now, but that tutor 
<laughs> it's the cure not shaman. No joke. As I noticed the buffalo, the spear, and the face paint, and the facial hair. Yeah, that's the cure not shaman. And closes the curtain to try to teach Scott about pedophilia. Back at, you know, back at school, we see, we see Garrison trying to study, but however, we see no, uh, you know, we see no kids. And we see no kids, however. Just only two. Bebe and Jimmy Falmer. You know, after after his parents made fun of, of the handicapped people. So he was born handicapped. So he was born crippled, sadly. And it's just, you know. But although, although it says, ask about Wendy, and maybe they say that her parents took their daughter out of school because they all hate Garrison. And she pretty much hates him too. And of course, we see the boys getting the vaccines while, you know, while hiding in raisins. Well, they were hiding in raisins, getting the vaccine. And then Kyle has got a call from his parents. And the parents were very pleased to hear that, uh, that Kyle and his friends had the vaccine. You know, with Gerald and Sheila Brozrowski. You know, we're really, we're really, you know, glad to hear it. But although they were not in a upsetting mood, they were just in the understandable mood. Especially in, in that part that broke Kyle the most, where he said, don't let your mother die. And then we see a QAnon teacher, you know, teaching Greg, about how how Jeffrey Epstein was a you know that was a pedophile, and of course was the first time I see him in a prison cell. Being, in their words, not mine. Quote hung. Although that is a you know that is a good thing. Well, not not suicide, but uh, you know, it's just a good thing to know. But but I'm not gonna waste my time talking about that. And of course, they have some uh, you know politicians and you know it, ripping up butters and of course Oprah drinking the heart out of out of Cly. And we see how uh, it's like a. See uh, Scott Malkinson get attacked by Obama. And then, of course, a, another QAnon member was T.G. Craig. Craig Tucker. You know, Tweet's boyfriend. And, of course, Mr. Garrison was interrogating by telling Secret Service to execute him. Or to, to strangle her. <laughs> well, she get an answer. And then she tries gasping for air. And then told the confess. And then the white butt. However, she died. After. And then they say the white. Let's go. And then Craig responded with 
2021 is going to be exactly like 2020. Yep. And I mean, he ain't wrong, because with COVID taking, taking my father, and of course, and of course, uh, you know, he never got the chance to get a vaccine, and I did. But, but that's a personal thing. And of course, we cut to Mr. Garrison going to the light. While they were having a family there, while they had the picture of their deceased son, Jacob. Yeah, who was killed in a car accident while ceased at air in season 21. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, who were introduced in season 21 under parole rates, and then, and then, of course, who lost her son, Jacob, at season 23. With season finale, well, not literally a season finale, but the name of it, Integrity Farms. And of course, of course, you know, they, their son was ran over while they were playing football. And then Mr. Garrison had, had hot tied the family, and of course, they interrogate them. And then he asked for the truth. And then, of course, the truth were really upsetting. And then, okay, let's get the details. Here we go. He said the truth is that, and, oh, get, get it. Sorry, 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 got a bit of carpet there. So, however, we have South Park in back at Raisins, which was out of business due to COVID. We see, we see uh, Kyle replacing the, uh, Replacing the vaccine with cactus cooler and Stan would not say a word about this, but but although they were pretty, pretty, you know, pretty as that. This after the truth, which we never got to hear. And we see some pictures of the uh, of the conspiracy, however, with the team, with of course with Oprah, with Oprah Winfrey, Tom Hanks, Trey Parker, and Matt Stone of Baseball, and of course, and all of the Jones, but again, with the basic baseball joke. The basketball joke. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like in a format of baseball, and you play like you're playing horse, but you gotta make sure the score to get in the goal while you're in center field. I mean, I like that movie. And of course, he was course they were cut away and of course the creators of South Park were messing with it and that was pretty hilarious and then they go upstairs and they were in the snow I think it's the same snow that has stormed that Cartman throws himself to death all the way to the 20th 26th century and, and of course The same one where PC Principal were looking for, uh, you know, bonds. So there is a final justice before his conversation with Leslie. And then at the bridge, 
But hey, at least they got the vaccines. And the school said they, they were, things are going to be okay. Again, like I said, things are going to be, oh shit. Things are not going to be okay because Scott Malcolm said is stopping them and then the army and kids are stopping them with, with the name Little Q. With a Q and the Fox L and Carpet say it was better than, and of course, with that, all hell was breaking loose. And so what? Because they all were fighting. They were fighting pretty badly. But it did, of course, we see Scott, or Chris, who's, of course, wanting to get vaccinated, and Tom, who is, no, who is part of QAnon. And then, of course, he is. Chris is not too pleased, and he is really pissed. And then, with Kyle, <laughs> the boys at the bridge, and of course, worried about their brohood. So they. So they were, of course. And then. And then Carpenter just asks if Kenny wants to play on his iPad. If Kenny don't want to hear, now if Kenny want to hear what Carmen has to say, and then of course with Kenny McCormick saying, of course, you know, but 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 he, of course he didn't want to hear it because Carmen just wanted to give him a troll's headset and. Put on Madagascar, Europe's most wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because they were they're on HBO Max and DreamWorks is owned by NBC Universal. It's now owned by NBC Universal, and of course. We have some things going on. And then they talk about their brohood being struggling. And everybody in South Park wants the vaccines. And of course, Of course, we see some of them, like ones who got affected by the Randy Vi- Marsh virus with the, from the pandemic special. And of course, Jimbo, who had COVID, he, he thankfully survived it. Yep, and Jimbo thankfully survived. And thankfully survived the uh, COVID pandemic. Sorry, there's the COVID virus. And of course. And we got. And we got another one with. With. Uh, with uh, Qdon. And the little cuties that with Butters waving a flag. Which was pretty funny. And of course he he called the and of course he called the he called Tom, but Chris called Tom a cunt. And of course that cut kind of away to the boys having a meeting at the two two three, which means which means they run half two. So where their bro should have survived. To see how many days it will spend time with Kenny, okay? The next one, week. 
Then, nope. Then, is that overdrive? Nope. Then, Dre Dre 445? Nope. But also, Stan, of course, changed his mind, say the 223 is way better. And then, they were really, really happy. That idea, and then Kyle has got the vaccine. And Stan and Kyle, of course, don't want them, you know, die, but, you know, but Kyle's got to do what he's got to do, and, and it's a cutie through and QAnon and the desperados for vaccines were really really upset. Sorry, we're going to corrupt the boys. And then Mr. Garrison came. Oh, Mr. Garrison. Oh shit, I forgot about him. Back at the whites, we see, we see Kyle and, I mean, we see Mr. Garrison, Mr. White, and of course, Secret Service were in the snow. And of course, the South Park characters are screwing around too much. Stop screwing around! Stop screwing around! You are screwing around too much! They gave Mr. White, of course, a messed up and they, they removed his limbs and then turned him into a woman, giving him huge titties. And and they made him a literal dickhead. With his head and a body, which is a dick. It had a funny, Mr. White became a dickhead and then he becomes a pig. And then of course he becomes part of the, part of the human centipede. And Mr. Garrison apologized and told the creators that he wants to go back to a normal life. And then, Mr. Wright was not too pleased, and he was gonna kill Garrison. And then, back to the drawing board, which is a nice touch of season one. Right before they went flash animation, they were like paper, uh, you know, you know, like those uh, paper projections. You no know, characters, place the characters, and they. It takes a long, long time to get it done. No, like a slideshow. And then, we're back and we don't see Mr. White anymore. And we saw Secret Service. Hasta la vista. And we see the return of Mr. Hat. Everyone's most favorite puppet. And Mr. Gar- Okay, now we're back. Mr. Garrison was really happy to be back. And of course, to let everyone know that Israel has the vaccines for everyone. Everybody was cheerfully glee. And the boys got inside and got the vaccines just in time for, for Mr. Becky, PC Principal, Str Vice Principal Strongwoman, and Mr. Adler. But they saved the best for the first Miss Nelson, the uh, you know the Asian woman who they prank, and they have their apology gift ready for their vaccine, and she was very happy while having a speech. She was coughing badly and gasping for air, but sadly we cut away to. Yeah, her funeral. So, she was days late to get a vaccine. And she died from COVID. But Father Maxi and the others were celebrating, not because of her death, but because it was past, it was past vaccination, you know? And we see some characters like Mr. Slave and 
And pr former principal Victoria. And the band that we're singing down by the lazy river. That's a stick of that song. And we see some. And we see Fufa of Yo Gaba Gaba. And Sexual Harassment Panda. And Santa Claus. And Mecha Streisand. And pretty much, yeah. Everybody who's celebrating. The Walgreens. Walgreens, however. Is really empty, however. And Randy is selling both the pandemic special. While he ejaculated. While he ejaculated into. And the vaccination special. Which, of course, is a cure of the mustache. Huh. Why Why didn't we get that so we get the one? But, bad, who cares about Tiger Farms anyway? But the ones who are not happy is the, are the senior citizens who have to go back to their retirement home. But, Mr. Garrison, it's real glad to be back. His desk and back as a teacher for permanently with Mr. Hat. But then he called them, he called the creators of South Park, Earth Shippy Devil Pedophile. And thus it ends the, uh, thus it ends the, uh, vaccination special with, with that same song where they celebrated get, get a vaccine during the funeral of Miss Margaret Nelson. So, there you have it, everyone. That was the pandemic special, and this was the vaccine special. One focused with integrity farms and then Randy, of course, had to close his business due to a fire. And now we got characters. And we see, it's glad to see Randy again with. It's glad to see Jimbo back to normal. And of course, Mr. Garrison back as a teacher and. Randy, back to selling weed again, and, however, tragic that Miss Nelson had died from COVID. But, however, I got vaccinated, and it's time to end the episode. Or, so I say, end the South Park specials. Guys, that's going to do about it for South Park. Monday with the pandemic special and the vaccine special part of March Mayhem. It's not just about monsters, it's about a monster of a virus, COVID. It took in so many lives, including my father. That's gonna do out it, and screw this episode, I'm a going home.